Hey friends, we're Phil and Alex. After living in the city our whole lives, we fixed up and lived in an RV driving across America with our daughters and are now establishing a much slower, more sustainable life in a rural part of the country. But there's a twist. We're pregnant after eight years of infertility and are expecting our third child to join us any day now. But she has the same heart defects as me. Join us as we settle down, plant our very first garden, raise a flock of chickens, and bring home a newborn into the world during a global pandemic. What do you mean? So that way she's like super content all the mm -hmm. way home. Can you breathe now that we're here? And that I they know. almost didn't let me in, but they sort of made me let I, me in. That would have been so hard. I'm like, I need this stuff. They would have had to push me up with a wheelchair. I wouldn't have walked with... I can't carry everything yet. So I'm glad first appointment, you're allowed to be here. But after that, hopefully I'll be healed enough to... Crazy. But you still have to drive with me. I guess I could drive myself. Ugh. What are you thinking? Thinking how just emotional I've been. You have been very emotional. Talk to me. I just cry all day today. I think the hormones are just raging postpartum. Her co work is indeed no longer. We did an echo just to double check. Her AVSD is still loud and proud. Talked a little bit about what surgery would look like. Do you want to talk about the game we're playing right now? Madagascar. <laughs> Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah, we can't watch that anymore. It's a movie. But right. Why don't we watch it? Because it says I'm gonna kill you. Absolutely true. And it put it puts the line in fire. Oh really? Uh-huh. Will you show them your favorite baby pictures? Yeah, the one that it got stuck in their playhouse. Is it this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to press the button and then you have and then you have to send stuff to people. Who are you going to send stuff to? The one that was at church. The boy that you like and you talk to when we were at that school. I'm not liking where this is going, Cal. Remember that boy? I don't like that you're meeting boys at church right now. To be honest with you, this quarantine <laughs> thing is... Yeah, you silly. We might just continue quarantine until you're 18. Okay, friends, movie night is happening, but I have a surprise for myself. My dad is here. You're gonna love it, your life out here, Papa. Okay, so here's the rules. Papa has to go take a shower before he gives you a hug. Right, Mimi? No hugs. We did the same with you. Mm -hmm. Because if you be super quiet, then you can get his car. Yay! You made it! Okay, you can't hug him. He has to take a shower first, but we've uh, once. I know, I know. Okay. Girls, your papa's here. Hi. Your papa looks like a rainbow. 
Look at this. <laughs> like, you know, what? <laughs> like a rainbow. <laughs> oh, Cassidy. Oh, she is so beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, oh my gosh. So fast, Good Callie. Good job, Callie. Oh my gosh. Woohoo. No riding bikes right now. Okay, let's go finish our movie. Good morning, friends. It is my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Papa. Happy birthday to you. Oh, let's do it together. Yeah. Go. One, two, three. It's also Kinsley's gotcha day. I remember years ago when Kinsley had her gotcha day, it was like, my dad's greatest joy on earth to share his birthday with his granddaughter. So for those that don't know, Gotcha Day is the day she legally became a congelier, like with our last name. But today is celebrating. Today is filled um, with just saying, man, God is so good. This is the summer to celebrate. And so um, I invite you guys to join us today. I'm trying to get Alex into a season of holding the camera again. She's just been exhausted and they told us that and our midwives told us after Alex uh, had the baby that she would need to just rest. So while she's resting, we are working. Grandpa Skip has been doing the garden. Grandpa Skip also, uh, he did a huge compost bin for us. As soon as that stuff just kind of starts churning for about 30 days, we're gonna move that whole pile into the other one and then putting that into the garden as we replant new things. But girls. I'm trying to get the, the yellow one. Look, oh, that's not Wilbur. That's Wilbur. That's Wilbur right there. You're William. Hey, buddy. <gasps> Grandpa, it's coming along. How amazing. Hey, buddy. I love you. I know. I got nothing for you. I'm sorry about that. Of course, bud. You want to get in there? Just finished eating and now we are cozy, resting, sleeping. <laughs> the sweetness is out of control. Hi, mamas. Can anyone else not get over the fact that she didn't come out with black hair like Philip? For those of you who follow on social media, that's where we do everything live and you kind of got the updates day by day. And I had a couple of emotional postpartum roller coaster days. And one was sobbing for like 24 hours. And one was a little bit of anxiety throughout like half the day. So one of the things I try not to think about because it does kind of tailspin me a little bit is that I really am sad. I really don't want her to have surgery. And it feels like all I'm getting to do is soak up every moment I have for the next four to six months where she doesn't have to have surgery yet. I'm always very impressed by mamas getting up and getting going very early in the morning, but usually after her very early feed, I still want to lay in bed a little bit and sleep and go to breakfast in my jammies. Now we're getting ready for the day. I used to shower at night, but postpartum hormones have me like wake up a little sweaty and I'm usually too tired. I fell asleep on the couch yesterday. All right, we are showered and not ready, but we are awake. But it might be time to eat again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to learn how to vlog and always nursing. This will be interesting. Hang on. Can you see me yet? Yeah, within 12 inches. That's why nursing is so amazing because you're within 12 inches. She's looking at you. Yeah. She's so She's cute. She's so sweetness. Oh. She's so sweetness. And it is very helpful to have a spare hand so I can make myself some food. So my bump is like feels like it's barely there. It's been two weeks and I feel like it shrank down so much. Hi. You coming in? Go. Okay, go take your swimsuit off, go change. I'll help you. Okay, so when we went to the cardiologist, they want her to gain around like 30 grams a day and right now she's gaining about like half that. And 
he, he was fine with it. We were gonna just assess her after another week and a half and more milk has come in. She didn't wanna get put down, huh? No, I, I gotta make the girls lunch. Okay, hang on. So my girlfriend who's a nutritionist said your milk is directly related to what you are eating. I know some people make fattier milk and some people make more skim milk, but what you eat in your diet is gonna be helpful. So I really want like warm soup right now, but I know that oatmeal is like a really good one. Oats are really good um, and lots of fat. So I chop up some cashews and I'm gonna put them in some oatmeal. So I don't hold back when I want a snack. I eat as much and as often as I can. And then drinking a ton of water has not been difficult because I kid you not, the moment I start nursing, my mouth feels like the Sahara Desert. I'm like, water, water. Like I am so parched. So I chug water every time I'm nursing and in between. This is called, you get out of the shower and you don't brush it and pray that the curls go in some kind of organized fashion. So we'll see how the hair turns out today. Obviously, this is as far of getting dressed as I've gotten today. And <laughs> she's sleeping. Okay, let's chat. Okay, now we have settled and sleeping. I'm making myself a little bit of food. Grammy's getting some lunch ready for the girls. And what was I saying? Mm hmm Yeah. Hi, Mom. I'm cutting up some cashews for my oatmeal. I feel so much better though, so let's talk. That's what I was gonna say. Watch your fingers, I have a knife up here. Would you like some blackberries yeah. on the side of your sandwich? Yes, please. Yeah, so we'll put some on your plate. I see my muffin. That's for after if you eat. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh my stars, what am I even trying to say? Philip's gonna edit this video and laugh at me being like, did you have one cohesive thought? No, no, it's not gonna be cohesive Daddy, for a little while. Hello, um, I'm five. You are five. And it's my gotcha day today. It and it's Papa's Kinsley's birthday. gotcha day. It was on Papa's birthday. And, and it's Betty's Papa's birthday. birthday. And I have three girls sitting next to me while I eat some lunch and now trying to have a cozy piece of thought. So most of the start of the week I was trying to recover so I was trying to lay in bed a little bit more, rest more, just really lay low because in the NICU I thought I was resting and taking it easy but once I got home I realized well, I wasn't resting as much as I thought I was. I would say day 10 postpartum is when I felt like okay like it's recovery is not going to take forever. Like I'm starting to feel a little bit more back to myself. Felt like I could be in the kitchen, walk around, make myself some food. You know, not feel like I'm like kind of waddling and like you know that kind of like ugh feeling. Um, that was starting to settle. What else was going on this week? I think I already told you, but I'm not sure if I did. My emotions have been a roller coaster of postpartum that I just didn't expect. I don't have. I don't feel like, I don't know, I just didn't expect the emotional roller coaster. Yesterday and today I feel back to my normal self, so I think it's just gonna be being gracious to yourself when you kind of feel a little emotional roller coaster. Hi. Okay, go eat your food. I how tall I am. You are tall. Go eat your food, I'm please. I'm almost tall as your face. Thank you. Mama, I'm, I'm bigger than daddy. You are very big. Guys, You're it's my gotcha day today. It's your gotcha day. Papa! Kinsley, we found it. You got your day video. It was one of the first videos we ever did. They can't eat it. They, they definitely can't eat it. Why? Uh, because it can't go through the camera. I'm so happy that you're in our family. You and Callie and Cassidy are the greatest gifts we've ever had in our whole life. Do you know that? You were the first best gift we ever had. So today, we watch your got your day video. And we celebrate you with some awesome, awesome pie. How was it? Good. Was it so good? Love you. Okay, your sister or that pie? Which one's your favorite? Mm, <laughs> <laughs> Say my sister. Without further ado, baby Kinsley's gotcha day video. So we are going to court today. This is so cute. Is that you?